Hello, Commodore fans. Uh, again, I'm Michael Candler, head baseball coach out here at Gulf Coast, and I'm here with a, another Commodore, although he happens to not be a Gulf Coast State College Commodore. He's a Vanderbilt Commodore. Of course, this is J.J. Blade. J.J. Uh, went to high school here in Panama City, so he, uh, I've had an opportunity to know him since he was a high school player. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with his accolades as a player, he was the SEC Player of the Year last year, first round draft pick of the Miami Marlins, uh, and generally touted as one of the best prospects in all of minor league baseball. What J.J. is going to do for us today is to demonstrate uh, some drills, and uh, we're going to just talk about how to work your way around a batting cage. A lot of you go to the cage with your dads or your moms, uh, and you just kind of go out and you don't really know what to do when you're there. Obviously, some of it is just swinging and, and getting some work in, but J.J. is going to demonstrate some, uh, some drills and try to explain to you what the purpose is behind each thing he's trying to do. Uh, one of the reasons that J.J. Is such a high, was such a highly sought after player is he was a complete hitter. He wasn't just a power hitter. He could hit the ball to all fields. He, he was a, a, a guy that really understood how to hit. Scouts would call that a very advanced approach to hitting as, as a young player. That's kind of one of the reasons why people think he has got a shot to be in the big leagues uh, very quickly. So uh, without any further ado, I'm going to kind of let JJ and uh, his brother Adam is going to kind of help facilitate the drills, and I'm going to kind of let them take over. And I, like you, I'm going to sit back and try to learn a few things about hitting the baseball. So this first drill is to, to get us loosened up and um, to, get our, to get our barrel uh, awareness going and, and to keep our, our legs loosened up and, and our direction loaded. So this first drill is just front toss. Just, uh, like I said, get loose and, and stay in rhythm with the pitcher to, to get advanced to the next drill. So Adam's just going to feed me balls right down the plate. And uh, I'm going to do low reps. Always do quality over quantity. Don't, don't be in here just swinging just for the heck of it because that's going to tire you out and cause a little bit more problems than, than, uh, than you think. So go ahead and give me about one right down the middle. So what I'm trying to do here is just hit it where he's pitching it. I'm not really trying to, to do too much with it, just like I said, get loose. Get one more. So the three things I like to focus while I'm doing this is one, timing, two, power position, and then three, direction. To me, those are the three biggest keys for hitting. Timing, obviously, is getting your body adjusted and your movement going so that you're able to hit the pitch. Power position, if, uh, oh, here we go, this camera. Power position is where your front foot lands. So that front foot's landed. That's, that's where you strike. That's where you're, you're getting your power and, you're, and you're, you're, steady, you're getting your momentum from. Once that's done, you just let the barrel loose and hit it where it's pitched, direction. Obviously, plate 17 inches long. So keep it in the strike zone, stay that discipline. So we're gonna do one more of this. On time, position, direction. One more time. Time, position, direction. Keep it simple, we'll move on to the next drill. All right, this next drill is, uh, I like to call it a net drill. I do this uh, before my, or in my routine every single day before I go into the games and before I even get in BP. So all you need is a wall or a net, your dad or mom to soft toss you, and you're gonna stay inside this net with uh, your back, your, your top hand. Your top hand is staying inside this net and trying to drive the ball up the middle or your pull side. So that way you're not cheating and you're spinning the ball uh, properly. So go ahead and give me uh, just a couple at them. Go one more. Notice how my first one was kind of top spun. You don't want that in this drill. The purpose of this drill is to, is to spin it and to keep it in that right center gap if you're a lefty, and uh, the left center gap if you're a righty, which would be on the other side. So a lot of youth hitters um, think they pull the ball well, but in reality, it's, um, it's the opposite. You're, you're, you, you're not hitting the ball as well pulled as, you, as much as you think. And in order to, to become an elite hitter and develop um, your contact skills is master that outside pitch. Master that outside pitch and, and consistently work in 
um, to the inside and, and make sure your bag's spinning it to that pull side gap. So there's no difference here in your swing and mechanics between this pitch and this pitch right here. The only difference is the timing. So for me, my mental cue, when I'm stepping into a box, I want to be on time for 98 mile an hour fastball up under my chin every single pitch. That way you're able to adjust and take that ball that's over the plate, middle away, to the other side. So for this, Adam's going to toss me a ball. I hit it, and if he doesn't toss me a ball, I'm going to take it the other way and try and hit you know, this side of the L screen or just that left center gap um, of your opposite, opposite field. So make sure you got plenty of balls on, on deck. You can replace it, just doing the same thing. And it's important again to stay inside the ball and make sure that ball is driven the other way. Okay, for this last drill, I just like to um, get into my BP and um, start getting into my mental approach and, uh, and to get me ready for the baseball game. So this first round, um, I like to just have Adam throw me straight fastballs and. Uh, I'm, only, I'm only hitting baseballs in my zone, so my go-to pitch, the pitch that I'm going to get my A swing off every single time in the game when it's thrown there. Once you progress after that, I like to do random training, which would be have, have your parent or have, um, have a player or uh, a teammate or coach um, start mixing speeds and mixing, um, mixing pitches to make it more difficult in order you to still be on time and drive a baseball with good velocity behind it. Here's going to be the first round of uh, fastballs, just middle. <laughs> You're good. All right, we're gonna do that first round one more time. Let's get your pitch. And if, <laughs> and if it falls, uh, take them aggressively. Make it, make it game-like. Get your pitch to hit and try to keep it fair and drive it. There we go. So now you got that. We're gonna move on to the next drill, which is Adam's gonna start uh, getting into counts and making it more game light. So we'll go 3-1 count, 2-1 count, 0-2, and just getting your pitch to hit to make sure you're in that mindset of that situation. Go so you want to go 1-0? Yeah. All right. It's fastball, right? Yeah. So right there, that'd be a bad example of don't swing at that. That's not your pitch. Keep being patient and wait for that ball to get in the zone. 0-2. Oh, oh, so for me, my 0-2 oh, is widen up, Choke up, stay in my legs, and then drive that ball the other way. Let it get deep. Go one more for this one. Three one count. Go three one again. There you go. All right. Uh, that's it. Uh, just, get cre just get creative with it. You know, challenge yourself. Again, have fun. You're going to get out a lot in this game. You're going you're gonna to fail more than you succeed. And uh, that's just part of the game. So if you just challenge yourself and keep doing these drills, and this is what I like to do before a game, just keep at them. You're going to develop. Thank you.